On this week's episode of Duo You Wonder, we got another viewer requested video. Thanks for the feedback, Tessa. So today, we're taking you guys shopping to three very different grocery stores here in Costa Rica. So all of you vacationers have a good idea of what to expect when you get here. What other Costa Rican travel vlog you know doing it like this, man? <laughs> Let's go shopping this morning. I'm Kaylee. And this your boy Rocco. And we are Duo You Wonder. You already know, man. This week on Duo You Wonder, we're taking you grocery shopping at three different grocery stores that are all a little bit different. We're going to take you to a grocery store that you would typically find back in the States. We're going to take you to a little super, which is basically like a little neighborhood convenience store. And lastly, we are going to take you to a Costa Rican style grocery store that most of the Ticos shop at. So let's go grocery shopping. Leg out. And also, man, do not forget, we have merchandise on Patreon right now. So if you like our shirts that you see in us wear, get on Patreon and check it out, man. to the beer section. Let's go check it out. Okay, we were just comparing prices on beers and it came to a huge shock to me that the Bud Light is less expensive than the Imperial, which is the Costa Rican beer. It's 925 colonas for an Imperial and it's 900 colonas for a Bud Light. I'll take the Bud Light. This is why we say this is most like a grocery store you will find back in the States because it damn near have just about everything you can find back home, man. But the prices in a grocery store like this are gonna be a little bit more expensive than in a typical Costa Rican grocery store. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is the cheapest pack of paper towels I could find. It is 1,200 colonas and that's about, I don't know, two or three dollars, but you can usually find three packs that are only about 1,000 kilometers, so this is expensive. As you can see, man, they also have a deli, so if you come in and you already got a little hunger in your tummy, they got fresh food that you can buy and eat while in the store, man. Auto Mercado, awesome. The one. As you can see, they have fresh pejibayas. That's Kayla's favorite vegetable down here. Just a pro tip, whenever you come grocery shopping here in Costa Rica, you are gonna have to wear your mask, and you should probably bring your own bag because there's not too many plastic bags around here. We are close to the ocean. Okay, we just made it out of Auto Mercado, the American style grocery store. Now we're headed to the Tico style grocery store. Let's go. Okay, we just got here to Pali. This is the typical Costa Rican grocery store and this is where we do most of our grocery shopping too. Hey man, you won't find a lot of American brands in here, which is probably why the prices are so good. But like she said, this is where we do most of our shopping along with the local Ticos, man. So let's go into Pali and check out the prices. <laughs> primo. Oh, primo. Pura vida. Pura vida. Pura vida. All right, we made it. This is where we do most of our grocery shopping. We know this store like the back of our hand. Okay, we just got to the water section and these are the only options they have. You could get this big water for about 1,100 kilometers or you could get the small one for about 500 kilometers. It's up to you. 
Okay, so we just made it to the paper towel section and these are the cheapest paper towels they have. These are 970 colonas and you get three paper towels. So that's like less than $2. Okay, so we just made it to the beer section and this is the only brand I could find from the States and this is the Costa Rican beer Imperial. To my surprise again, the Budweiser is cheaper. This Budweiser is only 600 colonas and the Imperial is one mil. Crazy. And last but not least is Super La Ruka, a cool little neighborhood corner store here in Wakas. Aruka is a little different from the other two stores we visited because you can find anything from chicken wings to machetes to aluminum siding for your house. They have it all. Okay, as you can see, we just made it into the mini super La Aruka here in Wakas and we've made it to the water section. The prices here are so much better. This bottle of water is about 500 colonas and this bottle of water is about 350 colonas. Can't beat it. Okay, we just made it to the paper towel selection and there's not a lot to choose from over here. They don't even have prices on these paper towels, so I'm not even sure how much they cost, but that's kind of one of the things that you deal with here in Costa Rica. Sometimes stuff has prices, sometimes it don't. Okay, we have made it to the beer section here in the mini super and finally, the Costa Rican beer is less expensive than the imported beer. This Heineken costs about 1,200 colonas and this Imperial is only about 800 colonas. Cheers. <laughs> All right, man. And a special little treat that you will find in most supers, they have little sections to where they got all kind of odds and ends. Let's go check it out. Gotta love the knockoff J's. <laughs> like I said, man, you can find just about anything in the local neighborhood super. You never know what you'll find in a super. I swear. All right, man, as you can see, we have taken you guys to three different locations to get your shopping done. We hope you found it useful, man. Other than that, we on to the next adventure, man. If you dug the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let us know what you would like to see from us in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace and Port Aviva.